Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take this numerical norm. We have to calculate the standard cell potential of the galvanic cell in which this reaction occurs. So chromium is in solid state. It is oxidized to Cr3 plus and Cd plus to cadmium ions reduced to cadmium. So first we have to find the standard cell potential that we have to find E0 and then we have to calculate uh, delta G and we have to find equilibrium constant. These three things we have to find. So let's see in this how many electrons are involved. So 2 chromium becomes 2 chromium plus 3 ion that is 6 electrons are involved here. Correct. So if you want to see, uh, if you want to write the cell representation for this, chromium gets oxidized to Cr3 plus and on this cadmium 2 plus gets reduced to cadmium. Want to find the E of the cell or E0 is nothing but E right minus E left. E right is this, that is nothing but E of cadmium 2 plus 2 cadmium reduction of cadmium minus reduction potential of chromium 3 that is Cr3 plus 2 Cr. Please note it is Cr3 plus 2 Cr not Cr2 Cr3 plus right. So using table we can see the value that is something but 0.4 minus minus 0.74 correct and there is something in plus 0.34 volt. So that is my E0 of the cell. First part done. Second is delta GR. So delta GR is nothing but minus NF E0. We know this. That is minus N is what? 6. F is 9, 6, 4, 8, 7 Coulomb per mole. And this is 3.34 volt. That is nothing but Joule per Coulomb. Cancel. So you solve this, you get minus 196833.48 joule per mole and you can make it in kilojoule per mole 196.833 kilojoule per mole. That is my delta G. I have to find K. So that we can do delta G is nothing but minus RT log K. This is something we have seen. Sorry, ln K. This is ln K. Correct. And there is nothing but a minus 2.303 RT log K. So we know all the values. We can find the value of K. Right. Or you can see that log K is nothing but minus delta G by plus 2.303 RT. Put all the values. Delta G in, in joules per mole. Please note we can't put in kilojoule per mole, we have to put in joule per mole only. This is minus of minus 196833.487 joule per mole by 2.303 RT 8.314 T is 298. You solve this, you get 34.496. And that is the value of log k. So k will be what? Anti log of this. Anti log of 34.496. And that is nothing but 3.13 into 10 to the power 34. And that is the answer. Correct. Similar to this same reaction, we have a way to find, I mean, same similar question, we have to find standard like cell potential, that is, we have to find E0. Of this reaction, we have to find delta G and we have to find K. Same thing we'll do, we'll see this in this reaction plus 2 goes to plus 3, that means only one electron is transferred, and here plus AG plus becomes AG, one electron is transferred, right? So, first let's write the cell representation. So, this is Fe2 plus is oxidized to Fe3 plus, and then AG plus is reduced to Ag. 
correct so e not cell you have to find is nothing but e right minus e left what is right here this guy e of ag plus becomes ag minus e of left that is e reduction of left that is fe 3 plus becomes fe 2 plus please note it is fe 3 to fe 2 i'm talking about the reduction of this so you can check the value in the chart this becomes 0 0.8 minus 0 0.77 that is 0 0.03 volt correct first part is done delta g minus nf e naught n minus into n is what one one electron f is nine six four eight seven coulomb per mole and c is 0 0.303 volt that is 0 0.03 that is joule per coulomb this gets cancelled so we saw this minus 2894.61 joule per mole that is the answer if you want you can say minus 2.8 kilojoule per mole delta g is done same thing k k you can find delta g naught is equal to minus 2.303 rt log k you put all the value in this equation i won't solve for you you get k as 3.2 and that is my answer because in this i know delta g naught this is this guy 2894.61 joule per mole it has to be in joule per mole not in kilo joule per mole right and then r we know 8.314 t is 298 put the values get the answer the button cell widely used in watch and other device the following reaction take this actually we'll study this button cells in the next few uh, slides we'll see the working of this so here the reaction take this is zinc uh, is oxidized to zinc ions and uh, ag then becomes ag plus one is reduced to ag right that's what happens now we have to uh, find the delta gr and e so e cell will be what E R minus E L, correct. If you want to write this equation, it can be zinc is oxidized to zn two plus, and Ag plus is reduced to Ag. Correct. That's what is happening. So E right minus E left, and that is nothing but E of. Uh, reduction of ag plus to ag minus reduction of zinc ion to zinc this is uh, 0 0.8 and this is minus 0 0.76 so this is 1.56 so this is 1.56 volt e is done delta g is nothing but minus nfe not and n is what how many electrons if you see there are two electrons zinc to zn plus two two electrons two ag plus becomes ag two electrons there is two electron transfer minus two n we know sorry n is two f we know nine six nine six four or nine six four eight seven yeah coulomb per mole into 1.56 volt that is nothing but joule per coulomb cancel you solve this you get minus 3 0 1 0 8 0 joule per mole. that is nothing but minus 3.01 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole and that is my answer Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.